How's it going, everybody? Happy Monday. Uh, I'm just here working on some guitars. And um, I've been meaning to make a little video. I've been working on this telly for a while. It's still a bit of a mess, but it's coming around. Um, it's just gonna be on the chopping block soon. But I wanted to make a, a video of this Ron Ellis uh, neck pickup. It's um, it's the Ellie Sonic, uh, his version of the old Diamond Ellie Sonic pickup in a humbucker size format, and. It's got a beautiful clear woodiness. Um, and I dare say, if I raise this bridge pick up a little bit, the middle sound will be completely awesome too. I always like to get middle sound as tinky as I can get it. I love that really grungy, tinky, mid-rangey middle sound. Let's see. sounds awesome. Let's see if it sounds good blowing up. Let's see what else uh, I've got. A couple of things I've been working on, tweaking on. Um, <laughs> look at this. That just fell out. Um, I'm going to show you guys this guitar I just got. I've been chasing one of these for years. And that up. Hang on a second. Ooh. 
First of all, shout out to Drew Nguyen at Tulsa House of Guitars for helping me figure this deal out. Check out this wacky old piece of mahogany. I've always been curious about these. Um, this is a 73, believe it or not, because of the strange pickup configuration. Uh, it's a 73 54 reissue Les Paul. And they made them from 72 to 73. They made about 1,200 of them. And they're, they're kind of an anomaly for a 70s Gibson because they don't have the volute on the headstock. Um, they don't have the pancake body. It's a solid body. And um, this one's been refinished, obviously. They were black customs. And there's some weird... Like, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. We have this weird crazing on the headstock or fading. I think it's been sanded, something weird. Anyway, um, this one's not too heavy either. It's just like right at nine pounds. pickup which I've always been curious about and it is supremely awesome frets as all of these old guitars do pretty much uh, I hate to do it because one thing I do love about frets that are just on the edge of death is you get so much contact on the with the board with your left hand which I really like but you know, then when you go to bend a string, you got nothing there, so. Sadly. I might give it a few more weeks and just see if I can. I mean, no, nah, that's gonna have to go in. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Because I wanna play it. And it's just, they're just so low. But it's such a cool neck shape. You probably can't really see that, but it's not, it's not like a 60, it's a 50, they call it a 54 reissue. It's not as small as a 60, but it's funny, like it kind of almost starts out that way, but it tapers in a really beautiful, full way. Let me get up here. I'm gonna have to work on the intonation today. I was gonna take it to a session this afternoon, but. I'll see how far I get it. Anyway, I thought you guys might enjoy that. It's kind of interesting. I don't normally like gold hardware, to be honest. But 
Um, it does look pretty cool on this. And I actually bought it with the intention of maybe refinishing it, but there's no way I could do that because it just looks so lived in, this thing. It's awesome. Um, anyway, if any of you guys need a good telly, I've almost got this one finished. So send me an email or something. If you, it's really light. This one is an ash body. Weighs nothing. It's like less than seven pounds. And it's got a nice big, big maple neck. Um, which I was gonna, I was, I was gonna shake, but I just don't have time. <laughs> I just don't have time. And it feels really good as it is. Um, it really does. I know a lot of people hate these big baseball bat necks. And I get, I get it. But, I don't know. Maybe somebody out there is into it. Or maybe you've got your own files. And uh, you can work on it. You know, that's what I did with my white telly. It, I started with a neck this shape and I just took it down slowly over time, which was really enjoyable. And I made a V-neck out of the other one. And you could too. <laughs> uh, all right, hope everybody's great. Have a good Monday, have a good week. We'll see you soon.